Hey guys, Rigo here, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can easily get your hands on Wonder Weapon cases in COD Modern Warfare Zombies, which you can then exfil with and take into the next game with you, or using the Dark Ether. So to do this you need to be able to access the Dark Ether, and I'd recommend doing this in the easier of the two versions, and that's by obtaining a basic sigil. To obtain a sigil you must first complete the tier 4 mission by defeating the purple worm boss who drops a locked diary, and then obtain the three other items, which are the security camera, the pill bottle and the dog collar, before defeating the abomination at the ether rift who drops a sigil. If you need another sigil after completing these steps, i.e. you've used the original one, then you can get them by completing tier 3 contracts from the reward rift. If you're at the start of this journey and you need the detailed steps on how to get a sigil, then I'll drop a link to our video that's dedicated to those steps in the description below. And then use a sigil to go into the dark ether. Before doing this though, I'd recommend using the majority of the 45 minutes of a normal game to pack a punch level 3, get self revives and all of the perks, including death perception which will be useful later. Once you've used your basic sigil to go into the dark ether via the ether rift, you're looking for keys. Now those keys open locked doors, and behind each door is either a power up or a weapons case. The first key to grab is for the antiques room, and you can find this in the underground dungeons on the map here, and you can enter close to where you defeat the purple worm boss in the act 4 mission. Once you have the key, head to the area where you complete the outlast mission, head up the stairs and you'll find the door. And as you can see in this room I found the scorcher weapon case. If you get the scorcher I'd recommend equipping it immediately as it helps you get around the map a lot quicker to grab the other keys using its secondary ability, whereas if you find things like the ray gun weapon case I'd recommend stowing that. Now, I mentioned the death perception perk earlier and this just makes things a little bit easier as you can see through the walls to check if the loft room has a weapons case or not, so if you don't already have the key and there's no weapons case then you needn't bother and later on in this video I'll talk to you about doors that have two keys and if you've only got one of the keys then you can decide which of the locked rooms is best to enter. Moving on then and the second key is known as the barracks key and can be found on the bottom floor of the house here on the table. You then need to head to the door located on the map here, go through the outer door and you'll find the barracks door. The next keys have two keys each and two doors at the same location and this location is known as officers quarters. The first of the two keys is in this little porter cabin marked on the map here and it's just on the desk. The second officer's quarters key requires some parkour. If you head up to the tower on the roof and locate the upside down excavator, wait until it moves down enough to jump across it and onto the castle tower you'll find the key. Two keys means two doors and you can find them both by heading to the location on the map here which is on a second floor walkway. If you get good RNG then you'll find a power up in one room and a weapons case in the other. Next up you need to find the storeroom keys, again there's two keys in this instance. The first key is back in the same park hall location, but this time when you get to the first castle tower, keep jumping across an ambulance and a flatbed truck to the next castle tower to get the key. The second storeroom key is in the warehouse marked on the map on a table. The two doors can be found on the map here and are cage doors meaning you can see what you're going to get before you unlock, and this is useful if you are only able to obtain one of the two keys, because you can effectively choose which door you want to unlock depending on what's inside. So they're the main keys, and they offer up a really good chance to get weapon cases, which you can either use in that match, or exfil with to use in a future game. There are two other keys however, which open a final door, but I will say that this final door and set of keys is super glitchy, and so if you push for time I would focus on the other keys first. The first of these two keys can be obtained by heading into the dungeon area here, which is in front of and below the Pack-a-Punch machine. You need to kill all of the spores in the infested area, and when the final spore is killed it will drop a key. The second key can be found on the map here where the dog house is, and the key spawns by feeding the dog three chunks of flesh. These keys can then be used to open the south bedroom door which is shown on the map here. Unfortunately, as I mentioned, these keys are super buggy, and the keys will either not spawn correctly, or you'll be given duplicates of keys that you already have. If you do get the correct key and it doesn't glitch, then it's another chance to find one of the weapons cases. You then need to exfil before the time hits zero to ensure you get out with your weapon cases. So if you don't have the wonder weapon schematics of weapons like the Scorcher or the Ray Gun, then this is a cool little side easter egg that's definitely worth it to give you some one time weapon cases. Let me know in the comments below if you've encountered the glitch with the final door, and what easter eggs you hope to see in Zombies next season. 
If this video helped you out, then subbing would really help us. Take care, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.